Bond yields trading lower today after the Treasury Department saw strong demand at its issue auction. Yahoo Finance's Jared Blickery has the story here. As we know, that's been the tail wagging the dog in the equity market as well. Yes, it's not normally the case throughout history that these bond auctions actually move stocks, but that's what's been happening recently, especially after what was nearly a failed auction just a couple weeks ago in the 30 year. So today we're tracking the 20 year bond, but we're actually looking at what happened, the reaction, in other words, in the 10 year T note yield. And it was a pretty big drop at 1 p.m. That's when the auction was uh, conducted. And then we got a big drop after that. Net, net, it's down about two basis points today. Now, you compare this to what happened, and I'm going to put uh, some candlesticks here. You compare this to what happened on November 9th. That's when we got this big up candle in yields. Uh, that was a different situation. The 30-year had very poor demand, um, and we saw yields shoot up after that. And at the same time, we saw the stock market take a little bit of a dive. But that is not what happened today. Here's the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and this is the intraday price action. And you can see we got this nice spike up right there. So bottom line is, if you're trading stocks, you got to, at least on a day trading basis, you got to be worried about what the bond market is doing, especially on these big auction days. Now, this was the biggest auction of the week. We do have some other ones. In terms of dollar amount, we have some very short-term bill auctions. Those are the biggest, but they typically don't move equities. Um, at a 20-year bond, we just had that. And then tomorrow, we have the two-year uh, two floating rate note and also 10-year tips. Those are lesser auctions, and I wouldn't expect as much uh, movement, but stay tuned. Check out your uh, feed on 11 a.m. and 12 p.m. as well to see if that does come to fruition. But uh, I'm looking ahead to next week. I'm looking for the twos, the fives, and the sevens to be auctioned 1 p.m. on Monday and 1 p.m. on Tuesday. Those are going to be the big draws, and uh, I'll report back to see if anything we can find out from, or to see if we found anything out from that. I just want to close here. Uh, why does the bond market make so much noise here for equities? Uh, we're finally at that stage in the business cycle where the Fed appears to be on pause. In fact, that is so consensus and opinion. Uh, the danger is that it's not actually what happens, but that's a tale from another day. Uh, so without all the, without the so without the highest rates in the world that are pushing higher, there's less of an impetus for all this money around the world to slosh in, bid up the dollars, bid up rates, and then depress the uh, stocks. So what we're seeing instead is money come in, and it's not a zero-sum game here. Uh, bottom line, I would say in the 10-year, let's take a look at the, uh, at the price action year-to-date, do a little bit of a technical analysis. We managed to drop from 5% to 4.5%, and then we dropped just below, and it looks like we have tested this support line. Uh, if I'm anything at technical analysis over the short term, it looks like we're going to be stair-stepping lower. That means the pain trade, if it happens, is a strong shoot above the 4.5% level. Guys.